even son on his way to Damascus, he changed it tremendously. I'm, you are, thank you, Honorable Speaker, for those few remarks. Allow me to have my reservations and uh, ask that uh, we do not pro we proceed, but basically just uh, note for the wonderful contribution and say thank you has got to the records, but let us not pass the bill as it is. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. The member for the Gorotti South. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, the Gorotti North. Uh, first, Mr. Speaker, as I appreciate the bill, I just want to proceed on the same lane my, my just the last speaker has gone through, and to appreciate that, yes, there is need for us to really look at the many issues that are affecting Kenyans within the medical field, especially, Mr. Speaker, when we talk of health, it's a very personal issue. It is one thing that Kenyans have gone through a lot of challenges, Mr. Speaker, ending up even in poverty. And Mr. Speaker, if we really want to enrich within this amendment, then we need to really restructure it and see a better way of looking at how Kenyans are suffering and how we deal with referrals, not just by going abroad. I think the most sad part is the referrals within the country. That when you're coming from a place like, let's say, for example, you, you are in Gatina Dispensary and you need to be in, uh, for example, Bagaze or uh, Kenyatta National Hospital, that referral itself is the most fortunate that when you arrive, it depends on at the arrival, if you get a good nurse who will understand, then they will put you through. If you don't, so in our amendment, what we should be talking it's not how even the referrals are done by doctors. It is whether from a dispensary, indeed they've referred me and I'm allowed to arrive at Kenyatta National Hospital and be given uh, health, I mean, be treated, or even just being admitted in that hospital after I have been referred. And so, Mr. Speaker, even as we speak about, uh, one thing I would not want us to really, and I will beg, even uh, the promoter of the bill, is that when you give now uh, the Ministry of Health to be the ones to decide how people will travel even out of the country, you will have finished Kenyans because even us here, you as a member of parliament, many of your people have traveled, you just hear them, they've already arrived because it's a very personal thing. Families contribute. What we should be talking about is how we look at even just the cost. It has become so expensive. I, I saw my colleagues, uh, we were arguing and we were laughing. But you see, when a Kenyan looks at us, that we are laughing at the fee, speaker, that we charge Kenyans on treatment. In fact, what they should be trying to help us is, uh, how, is there a day we shall talk of prevention? Because it's like, Mr. Speaker, we've opened up, it is okay. And we must have very interesting hospitals all over, but nobody even comes in this house. Even as we speak at that referral, to ask ourselves, is there a time we shall have also a mechanism of prevention before we have now Kenyans just becoming sick? It is like everywhere you move. Mr. Speaker, there's a hospital in Westlands, Jalaram. I mean, it is the modest. And when you walk in, you'll find all walks of Kenyans, Indians, I mean Asians, everyone. But they will charge you at a reasonable price that you will be wondering what is happening on this other side where our Kenyans are going. I know many of them don't know. It's a, it's a, it's a hospital that has been there for roughly three or four years, but it's an outpatient hospital. But let me tell you, the charges they'll give you in terms of your... Uh, imagings and when you go for all the things, MRIs, you will be surprised and ask yourself, so what is the difference? The other day I went to a hospital, I won't say, it's a high end, and they have this new MRI. Mr. Speaker, they, 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 they tell you it will give you music, it will done, but then I ask myself, I wish 
in that hospital will be having a very different way of doing these things that we are using because we have gone so much in equipment, in imaging. We've made health to become like it is now the highest way of just uh, making profit. Yet it is a social need. Nobody would love to be in a hospital. And so when we are talking of referrals, while I appreciate um, my leader, my senior, Honorable Didymus, I will tell you it will be me.